Here we have a Rust Polars project that includes a bunch of different things. In this case, though, I'm going to focus on benchmarking, and we're going to do a couple different kinds of benchmarking. First, I'm going to benchmark Python versus Rust using the same uh, interface and also a pandas-based interface. And then I'm also going to bring it out into a more granular level and use a benchmark for a library called Criterion, which goes through and does a bunch of profiling on the code. So let's go ahead and take a look at the code here. First step, I have this Polar's Python Rust project and inside a few things to look at. First step, I have a main file here that goes through and does some operations, including aggregation, group by, etc. I've done something pretty similar uh, in pandas here where I also do some group by operations and then I also do a Python uh, based approach uh, as well using the Polar's library. So really we have uh, a few different flavors to test. Now, what's one of the best ways to test all this out all at once? Well, I like make files. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a make file here. And if we go down to the make file, what I have is I have a Rust benchmark and you can see here I say cargo build release and then I time uh, the running of the binary, the release binary, which has some optimizations. I then go through and I do a pandas benchmark. So I test the Python pandas version. I then go through and I test the Python polars version. So this would be kind of more, uh, should be pretty similar because they're both using the same library. And then finally, I pull it all together by using make benchmark. So I think this is a great way to kind of test out some ideas. So again, I, maybe you have an idea that Python is always good enough or et cetera. Well, why don't you just test it out by actually writing the code? So let's go ahead and profile this. So I'll go ahead and say make uh, benchmark. And what this will do is it will go through. Uh, do an optimization, and we see that the Rust elapsed time here was uh, 0.55 seconds. The Python elapsed time was 4.8 seconds, and the Polar's elapsed time was 1.6. So we see that there's the um, Pandas version is is substantially slower, uh, about five seconds, uh, and in the case of the Rust version, it's only about half a second. So that's that's a pretty substantial. Uh, change there. And we also have the Python Polars, which is also in Python, but because Polars has some optimizations here, we can see that it was actually only uh, 1.6 seconds. So this would be a great way to test that intuition of, oh yeah, Python performance is always good enough. Well, in the case of, let's say this was in AWS Lambda, this could cost you a lot of money at scale, while well, well, this could actually be a pretty reasonable uh, approach. Now, a second way to benchmark your code is I'm gonna go into a different directory and we'll go into the Polar's CLI. And I've actually used something called uh, Criterion. So let's go ahead and take a look at how that works. In this case, we see that Criterion is installed, and I also have a new part of my cargo.tml file called bench, and it's gonna be my benchmark. So let's go ahead and look at the benches right here, and we see my benchmark.rs. And what this does is it uses the Criterion library, it then pulls in that calculate function, and what it says is this function benchmarks the calculate function of your project. So again, the idea here isn't to just guess and say Python performance is great, good enough or Rust performance is good enough. We're actually going to use data and we're going to use data science and we're going to go ahead and benchmark this particular operation and see what actually happens. So if we go through and we uh, run that, what's nice about this is that it will actually let us do it by just typing in the command make bench. Once we've gone through a run that, what happens is I go to the target directory, I go to a criterion, and I go to the report, and we can actually look at what's happening. So if I go ahead and I say open uh, to the side or reveal and finder, et cetera, we can actually say reveal and finder. What's nice about this is I could then go through here and open it up and see what happens. It says, oh, look, there's a benchmark report here. That's great. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at it. And if we click on calculate, we can see that it gives us some nice 
data science style uh, analysis of what our function is actually doing. So we can see that there is the average time here in milliseconds, so it's extremely fast. We can also look uh, at the actual iterations here, and we can also look at additional statistics like you know standard deviation, for example, R squared, slope, all these you know kind of cool uh, you know ways to look at the the data. But in a nutshell, we can see that basically this is in the milliseconds, so it's a very fast function. So in a nutshell, here it is important to do benchmarking for your code, something that Rust allows you to do very easily with either a makefile or also with a more fancy library like Criterion.